Roger. Kevin takes up his position. The tower is a hair trigger away from annihilation. All right, we're hooked up. Okay, here we go, Stacy. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Mark wants to move in to assess the implosion, but the heap of twisted metal is still settling. The team must wait. All that upper duct work is just popping and cracking. That's what's moving. While they wait, they get a rare opportunity to watch high-speed footage of the implosion. The explosive pulse travels up the detonating cord. The lower floors go first. Explosions speed across the columns, cutting them, creating the notch. A shower of black rubber spins outward. These are the fragments of the conveyor belting that held back the shaped charges debris. MST-40 begins to roll forward. The explosive charge continues to move up the cord. It reaches the shaped charges on the seventh level. The upper floors are sheared clean off, accelerating the tower's forward motion. So he can see, yeah, for us. This demolition family has never before seen their handiwork played out so vividly. My um, God. That's amazing. Look at that. Look at that. Back up one. Look this at this one color. bit. To most people, something burning at 21 or 22,000 feet per second or 23 feet per millisecond, per thousandth of a second, that's instantaneous. But with the high speed videography, you can literally watch the progression of the charges. This is far and away the most robust and heaviest structure uh, that we've taken down here at the Cape.